and I just ran right past the ghost. No, don't go up. Ah. What's up, agents? Zero here. Welcome back to another Minecraft map showcase. Today, as you can tell by the textures of the blocks around me, we're actually going to be playing Pac-Man inside of Minecraft. Now, this was actually created by a guy by the name of MCPE0717, so huge shout to them. Uh, now, if you do download this map, well, pretty much all the signs are... Actually, I don't even know what language this is. I'm assuming it's Japanese, but I don't know foreign languages enough to be able to know which language this is, but here it is. It says exactly who it is that made this. Uh, Pac-Man is obviously one of those things that hardly needs any introduction, and pretty much everyone knows what Pac-Man is and how to play, so I'm not going to bother explaining uh, how to play Pac-Man, but I am going to explain how the map actually works. So, once I step inside of here, I'm going to be teleported down to a platform where I can move up, down, left, and right, and that's actually going to end up controlling what direction Pac-Man is going to be moving in the maze. And if you know anything about Pac-Man, well, you know the whole goal is to, number one, avoid the ghosts, and number two, eat all the dots on the maze. Now, I'm not entirely sure how the map creator was actually able to pull something like this off. And even though I know how it's going to work, that's not because I've played it, that's because I've been reading the information on the MCPDL page. And it's, I don't know how, I really don't know how they managed to get it to work. I know it's all command blocks, that much I do know. But other than that, I have no idea how this is going to end up working, but we're going to play it anyway. So, let's go ahead and get started, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so some uh, no blocks are playing, trying to play the intro. Alright, come on, go. Come on, Pac-Man, go. Oh, there's a sound that I don't like. Okay, so this is how it works. So I have to actually control Pac-Man on a moment's notice, which is actually kind of interesting. I didn't even know that. Alright, so... Okay, so the ghosts are definitely working their way around the map. So this is obviously going to take a lot longer than your average game of Pac-Man, but it's actually kind of interesting to see it all working to begin with. Come on, move Pac-Man. Go down. Slow, admittedly, but impressive on how it's actually working in the first place. I like it. Come on, move over one more. Now, I don't know how it's going to detect whether Pac-Man's going to run into an actual one. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know how it's going to detect how, when Pac-Man... Okay, so it does remember when you left a particular direction. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe not. So I need to do it like one step at a time, it looks like. And quite honestly, I do not like the sound effects that are currently going on. It's a bit stressful to listen to, but I like the gameplay. It's actually kind of interesting seeing this work. Although there are a couple times where Pac-Man decides to glitch and disappear. Don't know what's going on with that, but you know, whatever. I'm going to at least forgive the map creator for having that happen in the first place. And I just ran right past the ghost. No, don't go up. Ah. I did not tell you to go in that direction. In fact, I was trying to tell you to go the other direction. Did I tell you? Yes, I told you to go one too far. Alright. This is very stressing to play because it's not 100% responsive. But it's at least working to how I'm expecting Pac-Man to play in the first place. No, don't go down. I can't jump either. So it's not like I can go... So the D-pad is a little finicky. 
And let's go up one more. Please don't come through the um um. Okay, good. I was about to say please don't come through the tunnel, and apparently he decided not to. All right, come on, go this way, Pac-Man. I wish I knew what was causing the sounds they're playing right now. Um, you know what? I think what I could end up doing is just do this. Turn my main volume down so I don't have to... Not only do I not have to listen to it quite as loud, but you guys don't have to listen to it the rest of the way either. So let's go ahead and go this way. This is so difficult to try to navigate. I'm going to be honest right now. As simple as this seems, this is incredibly difficult to navigate. If I can at least get through this maze with all the pack dots eaten, I'm going to be at least happy about that. But being, being as slow as it is and... As glitchy as it uh, starts to seem at times, because it looks like some of um, uh, instances Pac-Man seems to disappear from the board. Actually, not too bad. Now, interesting enough, I actually grew up in the era where some of the original Pac-Man games actually were made, and... One more down to the right up. And that's not to say that I grew up the instant Pac-Man was originally created. That was actually... but No, Pac-Man, don't! Uh, that's not the direction I told you to go. Uh, actually, apparently it is. I didn't think that it was. Alright, anyway, um, I actually grew up playing games in the 1990s, so I actually had, well, not Pac-Man itself, but I did have Mrs. Pac-Man on my Sega Genesis, which I know is somewhat inferior to Pac-Man just because it's uh, not exactly the Pac-Man we're all used to, but still technically the same mechanics. No, don't go that way, go up. So I do have my fair share of playing some of the original Pac-Man games. Granted, they weren't like in arcade machines, they were in the form of home consoles. No, no, actually I do want to go down at this point in time. Go right, because I do not want to encounter these ghosts. Actually, now that I'm thinking about, do these ghosts even have AI built into them? Because if they do have AI built into them, that would be really impressive. But I don't know how this game is actually programmed. Unless... Unless the way this is actually working is using a maze consisting of like real mobs inside of a real maze and... That's translating to the actual gameplay itself. Alright, I'm going to stay still for right now and hope the ghost goes away, which it looks like he is. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all the dots. No! Go away. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Okay. That was a bit unfortunate. Oh, well. Um, Let's see. That wasn't actually too bad. It was difficult to control. And I know the commentary on this um, particular video wasn't exactly the best. But at least it gave you the idea of how this map works. And it actually works fairly similar to how regular Pac-Man is played. Obviously... It is a bit slower because it's working in Minecraft. I'm at least willing to forgive it for that. The sound I wasn't too fond of. They tried to put together no book uh, music at the start, which wasn't bad. And I have no idea why this apple's even in my inventory to begin with. I'm not entirely sure what that what's going on with that. It's been there obviously since the beginning of the video. Um, 
But for a command block game, that's actually not too bad. It's a bit unfortunate that I didn't get to finish it, but you know what? It did end up working exactly how I expected it to, and I'm thinking what might be going on, possibly, is that it's generating the maze by default, and there's probably some form of real life, uh, well, it, real life as in Minecraft real life, uh, there's actually a legitimate maze somewhere in the world that you're controlling an entity uh, moving around the maze to collect everything with other and en actual entities roaming around trying to get whatever you're controlling. It's what I'm assuming is going on with this map. Now, I don't actually know that for sure, but for someone that worked with Minecraft on a regular basis and for someone who does technically, in a sense, sort of understand command blocks, I mean, I do build maps myself. You guys already know that. I'm assuming that's how it's working, and I think that's probably enough ranting for me, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that like button. Or more than make sure that subscribe for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This has been Zeus Thank you guys for watching, and with that, I will see you guys later.